Hello and welcome to another video from me, Para. Para is my graphics horror series of videos. Games that um, really visually are very interesting. And I'd heard some good things about this game, both graphically and a game that's a bit of a chilled out game and something completely different. I've really been enjoying Dragon Age at the minute. And um, yeah, some saw some screenshots of this and thought, holy crap. So I'm going to start a new game. I've actually just tested it to see whether it works all right with the shadow plane it does. So we're going to start a new game. Yes. I shall be quiet throughout all the cutscenes as well. Ethan Carter, I didn't know. But he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Okay, so the vanishing of Ethan Carter. Now, I actually thought that this was going to be a cutscene, but l holy crap, no. It's not. Oh my god, would you look at that. I'm actually playing with the 360 pad and I'm running this on a 780 Ti. Uh, everything is currently on max. And I'm just going to turn the music down a little bit just in case. Just in case that's a little bit loud, I'm going to turn the music down a bit and turn the sound effects down a little bit. Uh, there we go, that should be better. Right, so let's continue. But oh my god, that looks absolutely gorgeous, and I can tell you now with the 780 Ti that we're getting 60 frames a second. Holy crap! So, in case if any of you out there are not sure about this game. Basically, we've got run, walk, and so holy fuck! That frightened the fucking bejeebas out of me. Hold it. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what that is. Yeah, the controls are very simple. Move, run, zoom, and that's it. And basically we have to run this island. We have to discover what happened to the disappearance of Ethan Carter, this young lad. What's this here? Mm, looks pretty nasty. Oh, fuck. Ah, okay, so that's giving us a little bit more of a view. Right. Oh my god, this game looks absolutely beautiful. Okay. My eyeballs are melting. I thought Dragon Age Inquisition had some amazing graphics. Well, it does. Um, but this is... Holy... Holy fuck. Now, YouTube is probably going to rip the ass out of this, but I can tell you now. Oh my god. These graphics, uh, I tell you, computer graphics have come a long, long way. I mean, they've come a long way. It's like my girlfriend doesn't understand it. She says, oh, you're playing these stupid computer games, but honestly, this looks like a flipping movie. This is almost CGI quality. 
Okay, let's follow this. I mean, even if I zoom in, the texture quality is very high. Oh my god. Even this little... My god, games really have come a long way. Red feels... Creek Valley. Seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. I was going to say, games have come a long way. It even feels like in the last six months or so. Uh, you know, I bought a PS4 um, just for a change. But, oh my god, I'm back in love with PC gaming again. Alright, so let's... Hopefully we're not going to fall through the floor. But even down there, you see the re reflections of the bridge. Shit, man. Right, let's... Uh Let's run down here and see what this is. Must be a train. Okay. Oh, okay, blood splatter. Did you run the poor bastard over? Let's have a look. Blood, animal, human. Accident, murder. Crankshaft. Okay. Alright, what's that about then? Ah, it's going to tell me where the crank is, isn't it? <laughs> Hold A. Wow, look at that. Okay, so the crank for the train is down near the water. Okay, let's just let it spin, see if we get to see any more of an angle so we know whereabouts it is. Is it going to show us any more? No. Enter. Wow, I mean, just look at the texturing on that. Obviously, we're going to have to get the crank to um, start the train. Even zooming in, you know, like on a lot of games when you zoom in, the textures um, are not very good. Fucking hellfire. This game, honestly, if we had Oculus Rift right now, I'd be in game in heaven. I think I'd have my knob in my hand. <laughs> oh my god. Right. So we know this train's hit something. Let's, uh... Let's follow the path down and see what, uh... I'm actually getting around 55 frames a second, uh, everything on max, so... This is really impressively uh, optimised for the PC. I'm not sure if it's actually out for console as well. Oh got here, what's this? Oh Cut ties. No blood. Okay. Oh. I think we found Ethan Carter. Yuck. That's a lot. Oh my god, it's a foot! In fact, that's... It's a pair of legs. Uh, well, that looks to me... Like they put his legs over the train and then run him over. Maybe they tied him to the... See where that blood goes in. Ugh, don't understand in it. Right, that looks like he was crawling to me because you can see handprints. Okay. 
look, handprints. So he crawled. Crawled up. Blood from fractured skull. Holy shit. Oh, what's that? So that's a handprint from an older time, is it? Right, so the poor bastard has had his legs chopped off on the rail track. He's crawled along here. And someone's caved his fucking head in. Right. Holy shit. Oh my god, those graphics. I'm gonna come. Ah, uh, I bet the crank's down there. Whoever caved his fucking head in. Before I go down there, is there anything else on the tracks up here? Aha, uh -huh, what's that? Gasoline. Hmm. What's this? Dried grass. Ah, that's where the train was. my god guys honestly the graphics on this I just you know I need to keep sort of saying that but I'm, I can tell playing this I'm gonna keep repeating the same thing over and over again oh my god the graphics are amazing right so I'm guessing this poor bastard had his legs cut off this petrol canister was used to fuel the train to get it going they ran over his legs, they caved his fucking head in. But why would the crank be down there if the train's up there? Because oh, the train can't go any further. Oh my god, the mystery deepens. I'm gonna say it again. Holy shit, the graphics! I wanna cry! <laughs> right, let's get down there. Um, Let's get down here, because we know that that crankshaft... Just so sure there's no hidden little... There's no hidden little blood trails or anything. Oh, what's this? Deer footprints. Or is it? Or is it where somebody's foot skidded in that mud? So far, guys, this game has been um, something completely different. And if, uh, right, if I took a screenshot of that now, you would think that was a real fucking f place. Everything just looks like you could screen cap it. Right, so we know that that crank is down on the waterfront somewhere. Oh my god. Ah, there we go. Right, it's okay. Ah, look, there's blood on it. So they caved his head in. Right, so now we can go back to the train and start the train. And what I'll do is, I think as we get up to the train, I'll end this part one, and if you guys let me know if you want to see part two, I shall keep recording it, but... 
I'm actually really enjoying this. You know, I'm getting... Uh, my pants are getting tighter every time I look at the graphics. <laughs> oh, I am a graphic, so... Oh, my God. Yeah, the game... I actually got the game from G2A, or is it GA2? Uh, I think it was £7. Oh, my God. For 7 quid. 60% off at the minute. Right, so let me get this. This is obviously going to go in here. Yes, it is. Spin crank. Alright, I'm going to keep pressing it. Keep tapping it. Oh, engine's going. Let's get this bad boy rolling. Now. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's go backwards. Oh my god, it's running absolutely silky smooth, guys. He hasn't dropped below 60 frames a second. Right, now. Now, I did wonder whether we'd be able to shift. Obviously, there's nowhere for us to go there, is there? Okay, let's go forward then. Keeping my finger on the uh, left stick. Struggling a little bit as we get up this hill. Uh, we can still zoom in. I've got no idea how long this game is. I actually just saw some screenshots and then a couple of videos on uh, YouTube of this game and thought, holy crap, that looks amazing. Um, I fancy a bit of that. I highly recommend it, guys. Um, obviously, we're only, we haven't even scratched the surface of. Um... Ah, now that's gonna. So, why would we be getting. Surely the. Hmm. What would be the point in moving the train? Without falling through the planks. What would be the purpose of moving that train? Unless there was something underneath it. Let's just go down and have a look. So the train was... here. Nothing fallen underneath it. Hmm. So what would be the purpose in moving that train? You can't go any further forward that way. And you can't go any further forward that way. Or reverse, should I say. Interesting. Right, guys. Anyway, uh, that's just been a quick introduction to the discipline. Hang on. I'm starting to think about everything now. Why is that barrier bent? That's been the introduction to the disappearance of Ethan Carter. Um, I think I'll be doing some more videos on this. As, uh, yeah, completely different and uh, it's enjoyable. So anyway guys, let me know what you think. If you want to see some more, I'll do some. Otherwise I'm going to keep playing and, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. This has been the disappearance of Ethan Carter on PC, available on Steam.